TakeOver is taking shape. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is just Pro Wrestling News for Thursday, March 25th, 2021. A big welcome to those of you listening on TheWrestlingRevolution.com. If you want to bring our updates to your website, email us, desk at JustProWrestlingNews.com. WWE Title matches and more announced during last night's NXT for the two-night TakeOver Stand and Deliver. Night 1 on Wednesday, April 7th, we'll see Walter defend his NXT UK Championship against Tommaso Ciampa. Now, Walter is already set to defend the UK title in a match that will air the following day. That's against Rampage Brown during the NXT UK Prelude Special. New NXT Tag Team Champions will be crowned on Night 1. It'll be a three-way for the vacant titles. MSK versus the Grizzled Young Veterans versus Legato Del Fantasma. Johnny Gargano will defend the North American Championship at TakeOver. Determining his challenger will be a process. On next week's NXT, there will be a 12-man battle royal. The final six men in that match will advance to a gauntlet eliminator match on night one of TakeOver. The winner there gets Gargano on night two. Night two will also see an NXT Cruiserweight Championship unification ladder match between Santos Escobar and Jordan Devlin. The final segment on last night's NXT was a face-to-face between Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. Those two will meet in an unsanctioned match on night two of TakeOver. Earlier in the show, Roderick Strong said both Cole and O'Reilly can, quote, go to hell, end quote. Jesse Kamao was pulled from a match for the NXT Women's Tag Titles. Mercedes Martinez took her place alongside Aaliyah, but they could not beat Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon. Aaliyah took the pin. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell declared they want the next shot at Blackheart and Moon. Also last night, Bronson Reed pinned LA Knight. And Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai beat NXT Women's Champ Io Shirai and Zoe Stark. Gonzalez pinned Stark. And then after the match, she laid out Shirai with a choke slam on the announce table. Today's NXT UK has Ilya Dragunov versus Sam Gradwell in a no disqualification match. WWE confirmed Wednesday it will move its Thunderdome to the University of South Florida's Yingling Center, starting with the Raw after WrestleMania on Monday, April 12th. Two new inductees to the WWE Hall of Fame announced Wednesday, Kane and the Great Khali. AEW AEW champion Kenny Omega opened last night's Dynamite, snuffing out Matt Seidel's hopes of earning a title shot by pinning him with the one-winged angel. Omega returned later in the show after the Lucha Brothers and Laredo Kid beat the Young Bucks and Brandon Cutler. Omega attacked Laredo Kid. Then he gave the Bucks one last chance to share a two-sweet with him. The Bucks refused and walked out. That left Omega alone to suffer a double super kick from the Lucha Brothers. Darby Allin pinned John Silver to retain the TNT Championship in last night's main event. Sting was on hand to keep Dark Order in line. After the match, there was a wild brawl as Sting, Allin, and Dark Order all joined forces against Matt Hardy's faction. Silver tweeted after the show that his, quote, shoulder is messed up, end quote, but... He added that, quote, the doctor doesn't think it's too serious, end quote. Also last night, Ty Conti upset Nyla Rose, pinning her after hitting her hammerlock DDT. Rose and Vicky Guerrero were poised for a post-match attack, but AEW women's champ Hikaru Shida ran out to even the odds. That's when the bunny entered the fray, and she attacked Shida and Conti. Announced on last night's Dynamite, a new reality show starring Cody and Brandy Rhodes is coming to TNT. And AEW will run the first non-televised house show in its history during WrestleMania week. It'll be held at Delhi's Place in Jacksonville on Friday, April 9th. Impact Wrestling Impact Wrestling is moving the date of its Rebellion pay-per-view to Sunday, April 25th. There was a late change to the Chained Ropes match promoted for last night's MLW Fusion. During the show, Filthy Tom Lawler pulled out of the match with a uh, suspicious injury, so it was just the Von Erichs minus ACH beating Dominic Garini and Kevin Koo. That is just for wrestling news for Thursday, March 25th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. Please rate, review, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.